Welcome to the party everyone. It's Bamboo Eats. It's been a long time coming and I thank everyone who's tuning in. All right, so let's get started to this uh, first episode. What we're gonna be doing is working on one of my favorite recipes to cook. Uh, one thing about me is I love barbecue sauce and I, I like alcohol, I don't love it. But we're gonna mix the two. We're gonna make a Hennessy based barbecue sauce to throw on top of wings. Uh, so I like to call it Henny Wings. Uh, I got this recipe idea from this uh, restaurant I went to in New York, Dallas BBQ. Uh, they, they do it their own way. Uh, when I came home, I, I just wanted to make it my own, you know? And I think I came up with a great recipe. Uh, so for this recipe, you'll need about a whole bottle of this, the uh, $11 bottle of Hennessy. That's generally about how much it's costing. It, it equals to about a cup. So what we'll be doing is um, get it all together. So. Uh, First thing I gotta do, of course, is season the chicken. So uh, let's get started. All right, so we're gonna get started with the Hennessy based barbecue sauce, favorite part. All right, so. First thing we're gonna do is take some of this butter. All right, I'm gonna leave that on the side for other purpose. I'm gonna just throw all of that in there and just get that melted. See that? And this is where you want your temperature at. Pretty much medium, you know? Um, right now I'm cooking with the non-fire surface. So if you have fire, you know, you wanna control your fire a little better. But we right now we're just cooking on medium. We're just gonna let that butter just melt in, all right? And a good thing about that is just, uh, Absorbing and absorbing and at this point right here you can just pour your Hennessy in and you're just gonna let those cook together Let that butter melt in there and once that belt butter is melted what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn the heat up just a little bit All right, so we're gonna get the sugars and all that Heating up and it's gonna get saucy another thing is you want to kind of cook the alcohol out of the Hennessy Hennessy is pretty strong, you know, and I would I would I would like to lie and say I didn't take a shot but you know, I can't tell you that, so I'm not a liar. But um, so we're gonna get this uh, going right here. And just let me get that up a little bit. I like that cook, all right? All right, now you see it? You see it? That's the alcohol burning out. You want that bubbling. And what you want is to keep spinning it slowly. Spinning it, you want that butter to fuse, see? And this is exactly how we want it. And we're gonna do this for about five more minutes, you know, just letting it steam and bubble and getting it. And what's happening right now is the butter is, is, is making it more syrupy. There's a lot of sugar in alcohol. I mean, we pretty much know. You drink alcohol, you get that belly. So the butter's fusing with those sugars and it's, it's gonna make it a little more saucy, but you gotta let that sit, not mess with it for a few. All right, so you know we got our Hennessy mixed with butter steaming on over on the side. But what we're gonna do right now is get the rest of the sauce started. So I throw that butter in there and I get it going, all right? Get that going. Grease the bottom of the pot. Get that all the way around. That's what I like to do. So what I'm gonna start off with um, is I'm gonna be putting the soy sauce in, all right? So what we got right here is a quarter cup of soy sauce. And uh, you just get that in right there. See, what I'm doing is the really wet ingredients. I wanna put it in first and let them steam, you know, cause I, eventually we want this rest of the beef to be a little saucy. So like uh, the barbecue sauce you buy in a bottle. But since it's fresh, it's not gonna be that viscous right away. But we'll work with it. So we'll get, get that going a little bit, that soy sauce. Uh, what we do after that is I like to mix this Worcestershire sauce now. Smell that Worcestershire sauce. It smells like the best barbecue in the world. It's the base of a lot of barbecues, to be honest with you. It gives it that barbecue flavor that you're just so used to. You know what I mean? So pour the Worcestershire sauce in. I like that word, Worcestershire, Worcestershire. All right. And just let that go in for a little bit. And uh, once that starts uh, bubbling a little bit, and we'll get the rest of our wet ingredients in. And the thing about me is when I like to cook, I sort of like to cook in layers, right? So I like to put the wet ingredients in, then the dry ingredients. Problem is, especially when you're dealing with this type of cooking, you're making barbecue sauces, you start mixing the wet and dry before, and things get clumpy and ugly, and we don't want that. We don't want any clumps in our cooking today, all right? So as you see, 
that's coming along. It's I'm just gonna mix it up a little bit for you guys. Just mix it up. Just mix it up. Bring those flavors together, all right? So I'm gonna go on the next and I'm gonna put in uh, this ketchup, all right? So ketchup, I love it. This is uh, bringing a lot of sweet to it. So one thing you'll notice is we're not gonna use any sugar in this recipe and we're not gonna use any salt, all right? The reason why is because uh, soy sauce has a lot of salt. Worcestershire sauce has salt. There's sugars in uh, ketchup and what I'll do is uh, three quarter cups of ketchup. You're just gonna pour that right in. Just all in. Get as much as you can out of there. You know, whatever I can get with this. I'll just ladle the rest with a spoon. Spin that. I'm gonna throw the mustard in there right away. All right. So with the mustard, what I tried to do with the mustard is uh, it's about a half a cup, a little bit less than the ketchup. But what the mustard is doing is bringing in that little spike. We all know that mustard flavor. And this is just another reason why I just don't put salt in this recipe. You know, that's another thing. You know, in this country, we have a high cholesterol problem. So whenever you can cut out certain ingredients, you know, salts and things like that, you just want to do it. Because, you know, the foods we eat nowadays, especially the foods that's prepackaged like ketchup, they already have a lot of salts and sugars in there. And believe it or not, at one point, people made their own ketchup. They made their own mustard. So, so got that. And the last of the wet ingredients I'm gonna drop in is the honey. All right. And that honey is a cup. Key thing with this recipe is no matter what you do, you want to put equal parts Hennessy and equal parts honey. Uh, that's just something I learned. Um, you know, I've, I've made this recipe trial and error a few times, and I just learned when you put equal parts Hennessy and equal part honey, it just comes out better. All right, and uh, another thing is uh, it starts to get that sweet and sour effect. You know that that classic Asian sweet and sour, but more of American. Because this is this isn't using much Asian flavors at all. So now I'm just stirring all of that together. And as you see, look at that. It's all coming together, nice and saucy. Let this stir. All right. And everyone in the room is starting to smell the ingredients fuse. And sometimes, you know, the flavor starts to feel very home feeling. You start to smell some of the flavors you're used to. Um, a lot of things with my cooking is I, I'm not going to use some spice that you can't buy at the local market. I'm not going to try to fool you. I'm not going to make something with something you can't even pronounce, all right? This is some basic shit, to be quite honest with you. And that's what we're basically doing with this recipe, all right? So as that's coming along together, and you see this, you see this right here? It's pretty much almost done. It's pretty much almost done. Let's see what's looking. I'm smelling it now. You can smell the Hennessy, but it's not choking you with that alcohol, that ethyl alcohol. But it got all the flavors, all the flavors. People like to make fun of my accent. I live out in Atlanta now, and I'm originally from New York. But because of my background, former military, I done lived in the West Coast, and I've been all over this world. So I done picked up a few accents, and I know people gonna be out there making fun of it, but it's all good, I could take a joke. All right, so look, we got the Hennessy sauce in here. We got all the rest of the wet ingredients, all right? All right, so we're gonna start off with the dry ingredients of this. First, got a little teaspoon of that paprika. Paprika's really smoky. I love paprika on just about everything. Then we got a teaspoon of black pepper. Black pepper is just gonna give it that fresh kick. You know, I prefer you guys to use the freshly cracked black pepper, but for right now, I'm just not gonna lie to you. That's not freshly cracked. All right, so then we're gonna do a half a teaspoon of white pepper. And white pepper is just powerful, man. You gotta definitely, for those who haven't experienced it, just get some and just take a whiff and you'll just love it. You see, it's still bubbling. You know what I'm saying? Butter, sugar, all of that fusing. All right, and this is key. Key to this ingredient, all right? Cause you gotta give it a kick. This will be way too sweet without this, all right? And it's a whole tablespoon of red chili flakes. Just one tablespoon is enough. I was gonna add a little spice to this. But it, without the, the chili flakes, honestly, this is just, this ingredient is just okay. 
the chili flakes add that kick that, I mean, I love in cooking. One thing I love about cooking is the flavor profiles and flavors that contrast each other. Sweet and spicy, you know, salty, little, you know what I'm saying? You gotta, you gotta balance things out, you know? So what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna let that bond together a little bit, all right? And I'm gonna put this to the back. All right, so it's time. Got the oil ready. Got it right now, it's uh, medium high. I would say it's about 365. You don't have the numbers on the dial, but I know what I'm doing. So you're just gonna dump this chicken. One thing when you frying, right? You wanna have the oil a little deep, right? And you wanna place it in. You don't wanna drop it. You gotta place it in. And you don't want this oil to splash. I see that little splash a little bit. Can't be afraid of the oil. As you see, I'm frying these naked. The reason why is I don't want the crumbs and you put the sauce and they get soggy. We ain't gonna have all of that. So just put all this chicken in. It's basically what I'm gonna do. Uh, this is about 16 pieces. So this could all fit in here. All right. And as you see, look at that. This is exactly what you want to happen. So with this chicken, we're gonna cook for about 15 minutes or until golden brown. Yeah, or until if it comes before or after that's what you want to do all right and make sure you guys marinate your chicken you know this has been marinating for about an hour now so you get all that seasoning you see that you just want it to be nice and coated flavor all right got the chicken in spinning around make sure they're not lumping sitting on top of each other all right, so what we'll do is we'll come back to that in 15 minutes and we'll be ready to coat the chicken with the sauce and serve. So I'll see you guys in a few. All right, so transfer my Hennessy wing sauce into this nice, clear, and beautiful bowl. What we're gonna do is um, the best wing restaurants do it this way. I just like to toss my wings in the sauce. So I just take a few. All right, that's good. And you just give them a nice little toss like that. You know what I'm saying? Just get it on all sides. What I'm gonna do, make a nice little plate. My homeboy Tito, he's over here. He's one of my best friends. You know, he comes over all the time. We like to chill, kick it, watch Half Bake, and eat, you know what I'm saying? So, I'm gonna make him up a quick plate real quick. Grab it out. Return with our homemade buttermilk ranch sauce. So take these wings, right? All right, I'm gonna do it like this. It's my fanciest plate right here. Get that looking nice. This is how you want your chicken to look, right? Properly sauced. You see everything? See those little red chili flakes coating? See that? This is exactly what we want. This is a Henny wing. Make this look all nice, restaurant looking and stuff. I'm not gonna lie, I could probably get better at plating. This ain't no fancy stuff. My food just tastes good, all right? Y'all gonna see. You get that? I'm gonna go get that buttermilk ranch real quick, and I'll be right back. We're gonna finish up this plate. All right, bamboo. All right, man, so we finally done cooking. It looks good, it smells good. Next thing we gotta see if it tastes good. So what I did is, so you don't get a, a biased opinion, invite a friend over, my man Tito, he don't never lie. So come through, man. Tell him what you think, tell him what you think. Let's see. Outstanding. Outstanding, there you got it, man. Well, thank you so much for checking me out, man. Make sure you subscribe to the page. Subscribe to Divine Miracle Studios. Tony D2 Wild. We doing the big things. At the bottom, uh, in the description, you see all the links to all my social networking sites. Most of them are at Bamboo Eats, at B-A-M-B-U-E-A-T-Z. All right, I'll see you next time. So what I want you to do is go out there, cook, send me your videos, send me screenshots, try to do what I do. Peace. Thank you.